Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Over the weekend, Antifa tried to crash a build a wall rally in San Diego, California. However, it wasn't long before the misguided leftists were regretting that decision big time, as the supporters of President Donald Trump who were also in attendance promptly unleashed their worst nightmare. Although it has been less than one year since President Donald Trump officially took office, he is already making great strides towards taking back our country from illegal immigrants who invade our borders, wreak havoc on our economy and infrastructure, and commit unspeakable crimes against the American people. Prototypes for the border wall are being built and tested. We are less than 90 days away from March 5, 2018, which marks the end of the DACA program. Border Patrol arrests have plunged to a 45-year low because so few aliens are attempting to enter the United States illegally. Still, there have been major setbacks. A Texas Border Patrol agent was killed by an illegal last month, and more recently, a San Francisco jury acquitted the illegal alien who murdered Kate Steinel in cold blood. In response to these injustices, San Diegans for Secure Borders held a rally at the U.S.-Mexican border this weekend. According to the group's Facebook page, the event was described as follows. Big rally at the San Diego border, Ote Mesa, in support of the new border wall and the U.S. Border Patrol. This rally is dedicated to Kate Steinle and also Border Patrol agent Rogelio Martinez who was murdered by an illegal alien last month near the Texas border. Rally sponsored by San Degans for Secure Borders, Unite America First, Frontline America, San Diego Patriots, Latinos for Trump, Make America Great Pact, and other pro-border security groups. Scheduled speakers at the rally included Congressman Duncan Hunter and Angel Mom Agnes Gibney, whose son was murdered by a previously deported illegal alien. More than 100 American patriots from all walks of life came out to show their support for President Trump's immigration agenda. The border fence that we have here in San Diego is the only border fence in the entire country, said Drep. Hunter. You had crime reduced by 50% overnight and drugs reduced in San Diego by over 90%. Fences make good numbers. Period, he continued. You don't have national security unless you have border security. It's very simple. Yemenis, Iraqis, Pakistanis, Chinese, name your former Soviet satellite states, they all come in through Mexico, added the congressman. They don't come in on cruise ships, they don't come in through the airports, they come across the border here and that's what the wall stops and that's why we need the wall, he rightfully pointed out. I'll tell you, Trump is doing what he said he would do and he's being undermined by his own Department of Justice. He's being undermined by his own FBI, he's being undermined by his own border patrol managers that are still the same guys that Obama put into place, but he's fighting all of that, and he's doing what he said he was going to do, said Rep. Hunter. Naturally, leftist counter-protesters from groups like Antifa also showed up to try to crash the rally held by San Degans for secure borders. However, they left with their tails between their legs after the Trump supporters were done with them. Not long after the rally's noon start time were counter-protesters at the scene. The rumble ensued when a small group of counter-protesters started a chant from the rear of the gathering, apparently yelling racists go home. A group of wall supporters equal in size carrying flags moved in quickly and engaged in a shouting match with the other side as deputies and police stood by. What began as face-to-face -face shouting and chest-bumping escalated, and seconds after the first shove by a counter-protester the first punch was thrown by a wall supporter. That fight spawned several others, and in every direction, small huddles of people were kicking up dust, some trying to pull foes off of grounded and outnumbered friends, others turning flags upside down and taking their best shot at opponents' heads and bodies. Before all was said and done. The Antifa protesters were left bruised and bloodied by the Trump supporters. Perhaps they will think twice before they show their ugly mugs where they aren't welcome the next time. The San Degans for Secure Borders rally this weekend was a major success. Even in Southern California, where liberal politics run rampant, 
there is a healthy population of American patriots who aren't afraid to fight for what they believe in. Literally. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Mad World News. World News.